Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash. The honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right, we're a few brothers from the Great Millstone, San Francisco Bay Area camp. We're headed to the battlefield, all right, to do what, uh, what's commanded by Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, bid our people, you know, to the marriage. Okay, you know, we're just going to do an in transit lesson. Yahweh Rata's eyes is edifying. We'll open it up, bro. Yeah, start with Hosea 4 and 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And who's the most highest people? All right, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Jake is totally destroyed, man. You know, Jake, Jake is done. You know, Jake is into all type of philosophies. Okay, Who, who's the, uh, the face of, of homosexuality? Okay, our people, man. You know, our women are the most uh, just, you know, un uh, shameless. Our women are the most, you know what I mean, uh, slutty. Okay? The men are a bunch of simps. Okay? And what? We're destroyed? Why? Because our people just went astray from the Lord, man. You know? Read it again, bro. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And if I can say this, you know, we were just watching one of the brothers from Baltimore, and they were, they were having a debate with with the Jake, you know, and the Jake still believes in that that modern uh, uh, Christianity, that slave doctrine uh, Christianity, you know, which tells them that they can eat anything they want, you know, they can b believe on a, a, a so-called white savior, you know, and, and that's exactly why we're destroyed physically too, not just spiritually, we're destroyed physically because we're given unto these all these uh, abominable foods, all these unclean foods, you know, and, and, and all these unclean things that that we're around, you know, and we don't check ourselves you know we don't check ourselves that we're actually sinning and, and jake don't understand what true sin is you know yeah they, they claim they believe in the bible you know they claim they believe in quote unquote god all right but they don't they don't check themselves all right they have no way of measuring you know what's right and what's wrong you know they're they're thinking that oh i gotta follow esau's law according to what's right and what's wrong not even considering the scriptures that they so-called believe in you know so they don't consider the Heavenly Father in their actions. You know? And going back to believing in that, that slave doctrine Christianity, that, that was Edomites running that shit. So how are you going to believe what the enemy tells you? You know, the enemy can't follow our our, our heritage, first off, uh, the way it's supposed to be followed, you know? All right. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, you know? You really think about it. You're being uh, taught by your oppressor, you know, who you are and... and how you should be serving the Most High, you know, that, that's ass backwards. When they don't even believe in the Most High, you know, they're fucking hypocrites. Yeah, I got a precept. It's uh, Isaiah 29 and 13. It says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed the, their heart far from me. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Going into the churches, man. All right, the, the Roman Catholic Church, the uh, Christian Church. But you know, predominantly this is aimed towards the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the real Israelites. All right, you go into the churches and you say you believe in God, and you know, uh, you do all the dances and you sing, but then you turn right back around and be a complete demon. All right. Yeah, you know, Jake, I, I love the Lord. The Lord, you know, God knows my heart. You know, for God I live, for God I die. All those fucking slayings and slogans and shit. All right, with their mouth, Jake could talk a good game, but their mind, their spirit. It's not in tune with Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. It's not about pleasing the Lord. Yeah. All right, because with that Jesus doctrine, it's just do as thy will, whatever feels good to your own heart. Yeah. All right, but it tells you in Jeremiah 17, chapter, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, so following your own heart just leads you to destruction. All right, what it said, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right, and that's what our people own. All our people own that broad gate, you know, just what's going to lead to their destruction. You know, let me read this again. It says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth, all right, in the most high, he ain't about, you know, just lip service, man. He's a power of actions. It says, And with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Uh, right. Of what man in particular? The so called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, who said to wicked people of our nation, all right, to cause our people to go astray. Your um, the TD snakes, all right, your Al Sharpton, okay, Jay Z's Farrakhan. You know, scripture say among my people are found wicked men. You yep. know, 
You know, and, 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 and the, the fear of the Lord, you know, they're not they're not telling our people to fear the Lord. They're not telling our people to return back to Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. They're not telling our people that the so-called white man is the devil and he's our enemy. You know, the, no. the, the scripture says, if I can say the scripture says that the man's heart is deceitful above all things. And I quoted it. Let me get it. Let me get it for you, bro. This uh Jeremiah. 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Exactly. So that's why, uh, like the brother was going into earlier, we have to have that measuring stick. And what is that measuring stick? That's the scriptures, you know. Uh, let me bring this out real quick. It says, John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So it's not according to what your mind thinks, according to your breakdown, you know. It's according to what the scriptures, precept upon precept, you know. And going by exactly how the scriptures say that we're supposed to be living our lives, you know, believing on the Lord, everything that we're supposed to be doing. The script it's in the scriptures it's not of any private interpretation you know right, right. it's not it's not of, like he says not of any private interpretation it's not about what how you feel what i think well it means this to me all right there's no it's only one breakdown man exactly. all right there's only one doctrine yep and, you, and, you can't apply the scriptures you can't be into the scriptures like it's a fucking trail mix you know what i mean that's one thing i, I noticed about uh so-called christians man all right they want to pull certain scriptures for certain things you know to uh to for, to favor them and justify their wickedness exactly yep. Yep. and if i could say this real quick in john 7 and 38 that's in red letters so that's how was i speaking you know he, he's specifically saying it's all about the scriptures you know it's not any of your private interpretation not any anybody's own interpretation it's strictly the scripture yeah not on emotion or anything of the such exactly you know? i got a quick precept mm -hmm. this is isaiah chapter one and two hear O heavens and give ear O earth for the lord has spoken I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Mm. We well, said the Lord have spoken, and who is He speaking through His, his prophets? He says I have nour nourished children, all right, but they have rebelled against me. You know, this is a rebellious people. We talking about two thirds of our people. Okay, a stiff necked hard headed people, man. You know? And and what happens when anything lo loses nourishment? You know, when you stop eating, you stop getting the the proper uh, nutrients. You know, on a physical level. You stop eating fruits, you stop eating vegetables, you're just eating all just fucking uh, uh, crap. What's going to happen? Your body's going to sl uh, slowly deteriorate, if not, you know, fast. So now what happens when we, you know, lost this knowledge? Mm. You know, we get destroyed. Just going back, yep. Yeah, get, getting back going, and physically, you know, yeah, going yeah. back to our, our prior, the prior reset. We're destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's yeah. right. Because yeah. it starts spiritually, you know, and then what? Like you say it shows through your physical form. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not fearing the Lord, so what you, you, uh, you eating pork. All right, you, uh, Jake is heavy into adultery. You know, Jake is heavy into uh, witchcraft, idols. All right, and what does that do, man? Just it, it destroys you physically, man. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say the whole head is sick, because the nation of Israel they departed from Yahweh Shemal Shai, so that that nourishment, all right, that that breath of life, all right, which is the the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, departed. You know, and two thirds of Israel they don't want to come back to the truth, because the Lord He has His spirit on the earth again. You know, through his prophets. All right, this is that great awakening that's happening right now. Yet two thirds of Israel, they they uh, they shun this word. They don't want to receive that life, so they're going to be continual sick. All right, the scriptures say that death is better than continual sickness. Yeah, you can read on that in Isaiah the first chapter. Isaiah one and three: the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. And those are two sadist animals. All right, but says the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. The ox knows who takes care of him. The ox knows who nourishes him. Who takes care of him the ass knows where his crib is where he resides okay read on but israel does not know it said but israel does not know our israel don't know man who their power is you know jake is a, 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 all in that mind frame of i'm a god of myself you know or the black woman is god our money is god all type of other shit, man you know and, and, and exactly and, that, and that's how you know these, these these people are just retarded because the information is out there all you got to do is, is 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 put your hand in the plow and, and do that research. Just go outside what mainstream society tells you and the actual books, you know, are out there other than the scriptures, because that's all you really need. You know, the spirit to be supping with you. But really, if you look and you have the spirit, you're going to actually be looking at these outside sources to further prove the point. And it's all out there. The, the knowledge is out there. You know, right. I'm going to continue reading. It says my people does not consider that's the spirit. 
my people do not consider, like the brother said, the knowledge is all out there. All right? Just consider. We've tried everything else, man. The we shall overcome, the marching, and the protesting. That doesn't work, man. All right, Jake has tried everything except for being spiritual, except for turning back to the uh to the most high. All right, because you got Jake now. Jake is all about, you know what I mean, uh, mental health. Are right, they talking all this shit? You know what I mean? But what is our people following, man? They following witchcraft. All right? Our people are heavy into witchcraft, man. Idols. Okay, our women are a bunch of witches. The men are a bunch of uh, warlocks. All right? And, and, and they, they just blatantly worship Satan now. To a point where the most high, he's just going to destroy these niggas, man. Because the truth has, has went out, man. You know, get, um... St. John 15? Yep, yep. That's it. Thank you. St. John 15 and 22. St. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had they had not had sin. And that's your Shah speaking, man. All right. It's written in red letter. Okay. And see, he, and, oh, I was going to say, but uh, but see now, your Shah is not here in the physical form. Okay. But the elect. The minute you see sign and crime, man, you see on the highways and hedges week in and week out putting up these epistles, we're the body of Yahweh Shah. We're ambassadors of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay? Collectively, we make up the mind of Yahweh Shah. All right? So read that again, huh? There's a St. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Yes, yeah, so if the Most High hadn't sent us, okay, to, uh, to speak, to tell our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, Okay, they did not have sin. It wouldn't be held to you, man. It wouldn't be held to your charge. I got okay. A, I got a quick precept for you. It said for you, for basically, you know, the spirit being upon us. This is Matthew 18 and 20. For there, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So, you know, this is us. This is Yahweh Bashimi I was shy speaking through the prophets. So that so this is the um so going back to that prior scripture saying if he had not come, well, he had come 2,000 years ago. Plus, he's here again today. His spirit, you know. Sorry. So there is no cloak. And that's red letter. That's him. That's that's Yahweh Shai speaking himself, you know. Go back to that now. It's uh, St. John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Mm -hmm. But now they have no cloak for their sin. They said, but now they have no cloak for their sin. Okay. So what, man? You're going to be held accountable for all your actions, all right? You're going to be held accountable for all your actions, all the wickedness that you do. You're going to be judged for it, all right? Because the thing of being uh, ignorant, which is not to know, but there's a thing of uh, being willingly ignorant, all right? Of not caring, of not considering. Back in Isaiah 1 and 4, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. The iniquity is sin. It's a people laden with iniquity. Which means Jake just put sin on top of sin. All right. Read they, on. They said they, uh, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They're a seed of evildoers. Okay. The children that are corruptors. Corrupt means to be rotten. All right. That's why the Lord is going to de destroy them, man. All right. It's the, hey, there's no, there's no good fruit. You know, it's rotten. You know, they are gone away backward. They are going away backwards. Okay. They have turned away from the Lord, man. Read on. It's, it says, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Yeah, the Most High is angry. All right. And how's the Most High, how's he, how is he going to appease his anger? By bringing judgment. You know, by bringing judgment on two-thirds of, of Israel, man. Verse 5, it says, why should he be stricken anymore? Yeah, why should he be stricken anymore? Because the chastisement and the scourge is supposed to correct you. You know, what it is like you got a, you have a child and you whoop him, you know, he do something bad and you whoop him, you know, and you, you tell him, man, hey, don't do that. You tell him why, you know, well, he shouldn't do it again. All right. But, hey, Jake has been stricken. We have been beaten sorely. All right. So the point now is like, why should you be stricken anymore? Read on. It says you will revolt more and more. Yeah, you revolt more and more. The more you get your ass kicked, the more reprobate things you do. It's a badass child, too. Yeah. <laughs> It's a badass, it's a badass child, man. It says the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Yep. Well, that's the spirit. It brought it back. You know, the whole head is sick. You know, our people, they, they pretty much have no hope, man. All right. And uh they they've chosen the way of wickedness. All right. They they don't want to uh, turn back to Yahweh by Shemal Shah and follow the ways of life. You know, so therefore the Mosai is gonna bring that that final destruction, man. 
all right, and, and set up that new ruling body, which is the, uh, the elect underneath Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, all right, to set up the kingdom of heaven, and then two thirds is going to have to come back through reincarnation. They're not going to be able to partake in and uh, receiving the kingdom and receiving the promises, all right, because they're not trying now, man. Mm, I got right. precept for you. Fine. It's uh, Second Ezra, chapter nine, and verse. Let me see. Second Ezra. 9 and 9. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Exactly, because the uh, the Lord's judgment is right around the corner, all right? And if you're transgressing, all right, you're not trying to repent, you're not trying to uh, come back to Yahweh Shemal Shai and seek your true power, all right? Seek the true understanding of the scriptures. If you're not trying to do that, you're going to die in your iniquities, all right? And though and, uh, the Most High set up the point in time to where all the information is readily accessible, all right, those that are not trying to seek Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is the bulk of the, of the nation of Israel, they're going to perish. They're going to uh, die death by pain because all these things that are set up, all right, these different spirits of judgment is set up uh, for uh, the, the final uh, that death, man. Yeah, Second Chronicles fifteen. All right. Chronicles. Ultimately, those those nuclear missiles is going to be that final destruction. All right, but it's saved up for those that are not trying to come back to the Lord right it's now. Too. All right, like the scripture is saying, our people doth not consider. You should be looking at, at all the things that's going on in the world and then looking back and be like, hey, these different religions ain't got it, man. All right, I need to go out and, and seek uh, the true power. I need to I need to figure out the, the true mysteries of the scriptures. And then with that, with that uh, spirit, the Lord will guide you to the truth, you know, if, if it be his will. Read that really quick. In Second Chronicles 15 and 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord power of yeah. their father. And who is they? The Israelites. All right. Because whether you believe it or not, we're still in that covenant, man. You know? We're still in that covenant, man. So they entered into a covenant to seek Yahweh power, man. You know, read on. With all their heart and with all their soul. Yeah, you're supposed to, you're supposed to give your all into Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. That's what we were put on the planet Earth to do. According to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. All right, fear the Lord and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's what you put on the earth to do, man. And by that, if you do that, well, you prosper, you know? So it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a balance, if I could just say that. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Yeah, that, that backs up the point that the brother Shemaim said, spoke on, you know? All right, you don't want to turn to the Lord, you don't want to consider all right, you don't want to seek the Lord, you know, he's going to put you to death. Let me go back to this in 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra 9 and 10 now. It says, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, because while we're in a time of liberty now, we're in a time of, of, of grace. All right. It says, And when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, and this is the time to repent. All right. All, hey, that's that's the that's the beauty of it, man. All the things that you have done that you did, you know, all the weakness that we did, we repented from it, man. The Most High is merciful; He's forgiven. We're in the time of repentance, man. That's why Yahweh Shai came. Okay. Yeah. Not 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 to not just a license to sin. Right. You know? Right. You know, to come back and not sin no more. You know. Yeah, man. That's a, that's a that's a beautiful point. The Lord didn't come here and die on the cross for you just to be a goddamn demon. All right, for you to uh, uh to celebrate Pride Month. All right, for our women to have abortions, for our men to be adulterers, you know. And if you was in the world, you was doing that thing. All right, you was, you know, we all committed adultery. All right, you know, you might have been in the world doing whatever you was doing. All right, but it's the time now to repent. It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. It says the same must know it after death by pain. All right, so that's when they're going to get it, like the brothers uh, said, man. All right, most High going to put them to death, then they're going to come back with in the reincarnation through the loins of the elect. All right, and the most High going to program them right. You know, he's going to program all of us with the law, statutes, and commandments within us, man. And you won't be able to sin. You know? Got a priest there just to back up what you're saying. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. God, so the third that's going to be left, you know, is, is the uh, the elect. 
knowing that two thirds or the or the two thirds of you Israelites, you know that's that's not going to come back. That's not going to to uh to try to serve you. How about you know, Shai? You know you're just going to continue in your wickedness. You know you you you're the ones who's going to be destroyed, man. And there's different uh many different ways of you you being destroyed. You know you got the the dogs to tear. You got the famine. They said the famine is the the worst the worst way to die. You know because instead of uh you know just dying a quick death like a, a bullet to the head or something you know you're just you're just they're just struggling you know slowly dying body eating itself yeah and ultimately man hey the missiles too yep. that's gonna be the end all be all can you read that again huh? yeah zechariah 13 and 8 and it shall come to pass and it shall so you know the most high is not a man that he should lie so this is gonna happen it's prophecy yep Zechariah 13, 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's 66.6%. All right. 666. Six, six. All right. It's no coincidence, man. 66.6% .6 of our people here in Babylon and Great are going to be cut off and die. Yeah. That is the mark of the beast. That's the same number, and that's the same amount of uh, percentage of our people that are going to accept that mark. I got a quick preset. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, chapter five and two. I'm gonna start at one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Mm -hmm. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. So our people partying and bullshitting, just like in the days of Noah. All right, partying, bullshitting, and not watching what's going on around the earth. You can feel it, man. Something big is about to happen. You know, it's like a a bubble that's finna burst. Okay, but see, Jake is in that spirit, just like in the first purge. You know, what was Jake doing? You know, and, and the first purge, was, I'm speaking about the last one that came out. What was Jake doing, man? They was just partying and bullshitting to where Esau just rolled on their ass. That's all Jake want to do, man. That's why they, that's why niggas was backbiting and, and talking shit about Moses in the wilderness, man. They want to go back to Egypt just so they could be so-called comfortable. You know, but the Mosai, he finna, finna break that up, man. He finna bring the sword down upon you. Which is the uh the red Hebrew Edomite. Uh, that's why the scriptures say that uh it's better to be in the house of mourning. And also uh Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. All right, because you're not supposed to be comfortable in this place. You're not supposed to be comfortable dwelling amongst evil and wickedness, man. Or are you supposed to be uh uncomfortable and crying unto Yahweh Shmael Shai that he brings justice and deliverance? Yo, know? yep. you know it's something wrong when your pastor's tell telling you to pray for things to be more comfortable. You know, pray for this new car, pray for this new suit, praying them for carnal things, you know? Yeah, that, that ain't right, because that's all that stuff is of this world, and Yahweh Shemal Shai is against this world, you know? That's why uh, the Lord let this place get to this lowest state. Yep. Because the Lord ain't with this place. Yep. Uh, right. Quick precept. Oh, you got it. It's Ezekiel 9 and 4, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Yeah, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. All right, read that in Ezekiel, the fifth chapter. It says, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Read on. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Yeah, that word for mark there is the why, which means uh, exemption from judgment. All right, so set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. It's a spiritual mark. You know, and what are we sighing and crying about, man? Just being in captivity, you know? The blasphemy, I was just meditating on this yesterday, man. The blasphemy against the how about how was shy. Man, it's just, it's sickening, man. You know, I was just meditating. I was like, sometimes I get mad, but sometimes I get to a point, man, where I be sad, man. I just be like wanting to cry, man. You know, the disrespect that these people show to the Lord. Read on, bro. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. If all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And this month in particular, man, you got to witness all these, uh, these, these sodomites and all this, you know, pride, you know, pride is safer before the most high end, man. All right, but you got these people pry, proud about the abominations that they're into, you know? But that's what America pushes, man, you know? And if you ain't signing the, sign the crime, if you ain't crying out and speaking up against this place, then you're with it, all right? There's no gray area with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Either you with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh or you against them. Pull up as a bunch of fucking drug addicts everywhere, you know, thieves and shit, man. People want to break in your car, you know? You can't even take your, your, your children out. Your children can't go outside and play. They want to. He saw one of vaccinate, uh, vaccinate your children. Okay, yeah. the food is defiled. The air is defiled. These people are, are fucking demons. 
You know, Esau wants to turn your damn little your little boys into little girls and your little girls into little boys. You know, this this uh like the brother was saying uh you know pretty much the house of mourning is better than the house of feasting. But you see what's what's going on, man. This this uh to make you feel some type of way. You know, it's seeing all this this type of stuff. How could you how could you come to the conclusion that there's actually going to be a a fucking future in this place? For real, yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. How could you go on thinking uh, God bless America? You know, the Most High is 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 a hundred percent against this place. Yeah, Lord curse this place. All right, the Most High gonna bring judgment upon this place, man. You got more? And to the others, he said, "In mine hearing, go ye through suck, suck it. Go ye after him through the city and smite." The others is those who are not signing the crime. That sixty six point six percent says, "Go ye after him through the city and smite." Which means put their ass de to death, man. Put them down. You know? Put them down, man. And that's what the angel gonna do. Get ready, get ready to start closing it out. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Mm -hmm. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Yeah, hey, so what? The Most High is not a respectable person. He says slay utterly old. All right? Old, old people, the elderly, okay? The young, maids, and little children. And women. And women. So women are in there twice because twice because a maid is a woman. All right. And this place, you know, tells you that hey, to, to basically let women get away with everything, man. You know? Hey, but what the most high he gonna judge old, young, men, children, women. Okay? There's no respect to a person with your high by shimmy how shy. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yeah, come not near the elect. Okay, you gonna have the angels on. You gonna have the angels smiting the wicked, and then you also have angels protecting the righteous. You know, cause holy hell is coming to this place, man. You know, rightfully so, man. The Lord's gonna destroy this place. You know, with two thirds of our people uh, in it, man. And begin at my sanctuary, then they begin at the ancient men who, which were before the house. Yep, time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. You know. Was there anything else? No, yeah. Yeah, with that, you know, we're going to wrap it up, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Say shalom to the elect and death to the wicked. Shalom. shalom.